a few large pots and water What's going on YouTube? It's Swig. Damn, buddy. We are back bringing you guys another episode in our Ultimate Oblivion playthrough. And after that super long last episode, uh, me and E, uh, well, I traveled back and to get some of my stuff and E traveled back. Or no, you didn't even... You just left the loading door and tried to go back in and your the dead bodies were gone? Uh, yeah, no, like, he locked the door behind us and... What was his name? Like, Althor or something like that? Yeah. I locked the door behind us and uh, I went to, like, I opened it and the bodies were disappeared. And we had stored stuff on, um, on some of the bodies in there and I, two of the three bodies I stored stuff on, um, or one was a co coffin. I got that stuff and then I got the stuff I stored on the second body or the first body and then I think the last body disappeared but there wasn't much I did get a crap ton of stuff back to know. I got my katana back thank goodness um, but yeah working my way to my dwarven set and we're gonna make a ton of money off of all the stuff we got out of that huh yep really great quest overall and just super I mean it gave it gave us both a couple weapons that were insane like this one does 10 points of frost damage and uh, eight points of just the base blade or whatever so we're about to do an arena the warrior fights for the arena um, so before we do that though I wanted to see if I don't think I have a repair hammer on me no but I think everything's fairly good but um I'm going to rest and level up real quick. What level are you on now, E? 13. Ooh, that tingles. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna choose those. Oh, sweet. I can level up again. those all right cool so yeah I'm on 13 as well good, good. Um, all right so I am ready to do the arena if you are ready the arena uh, yeah I'm in front of Owen right now what? all right I'm gonna travel there Sweet. <clears throat> I'm going into the arena or the bloodworks. And I'm talking to Owen right now. You're a warrior now. Right. That ain't no joke. They may not know your name, but the people out there, the spectators, they know you now. They come to this arena to see you. So go out there and give the people what they want. Uh, match. Yep. Ready. I'll ask, I'm going to ask about the Grand Champion and stuff. Ah, oh, freak. Alright, I didn't have my raiment on. You're a warrior now. That ain't no... They come... The reigning Grand Champion is Agranagro Malog. His fighting name is the Great Prince. He's an orc. Well, half-orc, actually, or so they say. The important thing is he's been grand champion for nearly a decade. Hey, Why? Dude. Because That's nobody's good. had the guts to face him. The Great Prince is unbeatable. At least that's what the people of Cyrodiil have come to believe. Maybe it's time someone stepped into that arena and proved them wrong. What'd you say? What'd you say it cut out? Uh, the grand champion? Yeah. 
I know, I know. Sometimes I wish we'd run the matches through the night, too. All right, but I got my next one, the uh, Norden. Ah, freak, I dude. I gotta wait till... I gotta wait three hours. Go ahead and I'll, uh... You're a warrior. Right now. They... I've seen the next one fight before. She's a Nord. Very a Nord. Quick, very strong. She favors a longsword and knows how to use it. Don't underestimate her. Oh, freak. The Ar I thought the Argonian fight was coming up, but that's not till you're, uh... Um, well like, gladiator, I think. Yeah. So you're already up there? Yeah. <clears throat> Sharing the Good night. people of the Imperial City. Welcome. I have my uh, enchanted weapon as a backup. To the arena. Raise your voices in cheers as we lower the gates and these two brave combatants face their destinies. Let's do it. Is she hard? Like, she's got a little bit left. I don't know. Her freaking. She does a little bit of damage, huh? Seems like the crowd likes her. that Nord in pretty rough shape, warrior. They'll probably have to ship her back to Skyrim in pieces. Nice work. I'm about Here's to talk to the Grey Prince. Right now? Yeah. Alright. Hail, friend. I don't believe I've ever seen you down here on the Bloodworks before. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Agranok Gromalag. Most people just call me the Grey Prince. It's kind of silly, I know, but the people of Cyrodiil need heroes. I'm more than happy to oblige. Ah, so you're an arena combatant. It's always good to meet a fellow warrior, especially one who isn't here just to kill the grand champion. <laughs> Funny guy. Yes, it's what everyone calls me. I guess I'm partly to blame. I have never made it a secret that I'm actually only half orc. I am a lord's son, yet I've been denied the noble privilege to which I'm entitled. So I have become the Grey Prince, noble in my own right. Still, if I could prove who I really am and show the world that an orc can be noble in blood as well as deed, maybe, yes, you could help me. I grew up here in the Imperial City, but I was born elsewhere. My mother was a servant in the employ of Lord Leviticus and resided at his fortress. Lady Leviticus was a shrew of a woman. The Lord and my mother grew close and ultimately fell in love. I was the result of their union. When the lady learned of my birth, she was furious and threatened to kill both my mother and me. So we fled, leaving my claim to nobility behind. My mother died recently. Before she passed, she gave me this key and told me it would unlock the truth at the place of my birth, Crowhaven. 
Hmm. Crowhaven is a ruined fort far to the west of here. Right. I'd go myself, but my training regiment doesn't allow for the luxury of such an excursion. My friend, you must travel to Crowhaven and use the key to unlock whatever it is that holds the proof of my birthright. Find this proof and return it to me, and I'll share with you some of my finest combat techniques. Trust me, you can't learn these moves in a book. Sweet. Alright, so, yeah, we could definitely uh, do that for one of the episodes soon. Yeah. You know the yellow team's champion is in our blood works? What? Oh, yeah, the chick? The one thing that talks to her and she, like, makes fun of Warrior? You? <laughs> just... Just look Ready at you! Ready for match? <laughs> uh, look at freak. you. Uh, you keep coming then, back for more. Then right, uh, Warrior, Owen says, you look at you. Match? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Ah, spellcasters. That's what this next one is. A high elf sorceress or something. Just get in close and stab her a few times. That'll teach her. <laughs> oh, spellcast for next. Let's do it. Freak, I wish I silenced freaking poison or something. Oh boy. I should be good on this. Good people of the Imperial City. Welcome. Twelve uses on the freaking sword left? Oh man. These warriors want nothing more than to please you. And if they fill their opponents with suffering and pain at the same time, all the better. Here we go. <laughs> oh, she's gonna be too <laughs> What'd you say? She's gonna be easy to Freaking healed. Spellcaster. Dude, the freaking crowd is loud. She healed again? Just healed again. No, you just, uh, I thought you used that thing where she couldn't use her magic. Yeah. No, I don't, I said I wish. Oh. Oh, that's it, dude. She's freaking healing, like... You're about to go down, lady. My Be impressed. I didn't want to have to use that sword yet, but... Yeah. Yeah, um, I just have freaking three uses left. You don't have any soul gems in your freaking thing? Um, another high elf has been taught uh, the meaning of humility yeah. thanks to the blue team's number one warrior. I use you all really all earned your keep ones this time. To recharge my stuff. Um, Alright, yeah, I will. I'll definitely do it before the freaking... Before the uh, gladiator like trio fight that we have to do, but um, you ready to do the last one? Yeah, yeah. All right, Which one is this? One more match is all you need to uh, This is again. the. I think ranks. it's an. Most combatants orc? never make it that far. 
But you're the exception, aren't you? One more match. Your next Gladiator opponent rank. is the oh, most yeah, savage, blood crazed orc. It's cool I've to see everybody's seen. weapons. And believe me, use, like, I've seen a lot of them. This will not be fun. She'll come out of that gate with a war hammer the size of a child, and like, she'll swing the it until your head explodes. Has a glass Don't let that now. happen. Oh, this guy's wearing glass. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about everybody's weapons in here. Yeah. Yeah, it is fr freaking sick. And then my opponent is wearing glass armor. Here we go. Good people of the Imperial City, welcome to the arena. This is an important match, for the winner will advance to the esteemed rank of Gladiator. So, without further ado, let the battle begin! There we go. attack take some health out of you. She staggered me and hit me five times. She just freaking healed. What the freak was that? Stuff. Oh, yeah. All hail the combatant from the blue team. Sweet baby. Woo. Sweet baby Rays. Thank goodness. Gladiator rank. You hit that orc so hard, her mother in Orsinium started bleeding. That victory advances you to the rank of gladiator. Enjoy the gold. Beautiful. All right, so um, are we going to talk about what we're going to do next and in this episode here since we completed all the fights for fight for this uh, rank? Sounds good. Might go sell some stuff, but um, thank you guys for watching as always and hope you enjoyed. We will see you in the next episode. Peace out. You signing off, buddy? Oh, signing off. See, I was focused and I was locking some. Huh? I was lock picking the uh, the betting. Oh yeah, yeah. Was it like five hundred gold? Ooh, freak! All right, I'll have to do that as well. <laughs> Peace right, out, guys. See you next time. Dragon Ball Z.